nine-year-old wrote this song. And the things that he believed in, his four ways of life. And one of them were his ears, his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. And he said his hands protect these four ways. what he wrote. And he said, life giver, creator of this world, give me strength to fight my greatest enemy, which is myself. Because somewhere lately, I've been hearing all the bad things and I can remember them. And I can see the bad things of life. I can smell and taste the bad things and talk about them. Life giver, I know there's some good in this world. Somewhere. Even someone to learn from. This is why I need your help, life giver, to fight my greatest enemy, which is myself. To help me fight with my four ways of life, to be able to hear the good things, to be able to see the good things, smell and taste and talk about these good things of life. If you have to put it in a sentence, what is it that you want in the long run? What we want is to, uh, to uh, regain and retain our tree rights. This will go directly to the Survival of American Indian Association, uh, which is based at uh, Nisqually Frank's Landing. How much money will you realize from uh, one load of fish in San Francisco? I understand you're bringing just one load a week in now. Uh, that, uh, that varies also. Sometimes we have uh, 800 to, uh, to 1,000 pounds, and we'll probably get uh, uh, as much as a dollar a pound for this uh, load we have here now, and this will uh, be sent directly back to the Survival of American Indian Association.
Is this legal fish from the beginning to catch it? Uh, was it legal? And uh, in the second place, is it legal to sell it this way? It's uh, legal in both uh, both terms. Uh, we can catch them and we can sell them. Well, one of the main reasons uh, uh, we're uh, in this particular area in uh, in Washington, uh, they have our markets cut down to where they're offering us as uh, little as eight cents a pound, which is ridiculous. Uh, they're cutting off our markets, uh, so we have to go out of state. We have uh, we have uh, guys working out of New York and San Francisco, both, and this is to uh, this is to maintain a camp on the Nisqually, Gallup, and Muckleshoot. Uh, we have to have uh, funds, we have to have support of some sort, so we have to move out of state in order to get it. The Indians who are fishing the Nisqually area want to make the sale of their fish in San Francisco a regular thing. They hope to have the next shipment in here by Friday or Saturday. This is Ed Arno for Eyewitness News at Pier 40 on the San Francisco Embarcadero.